This is uh, W9OY. <coughs> Tonight I'm going to give a demonstration of the filter setup in the Flex 5000 radio. The Flex 5000 has uh, filters which are band selectable. Um, on CW I have my filters set up from 2 kilohertz down to 13 hertz. If I go to sideband it's from 5 kilohertz down to 1 kilohertz. If I go to double sideband it's from 16 kilohertz down to 2.4 kilohertz. So each mode, um, digital modes are 5 kilohertz down to 1 kilohertz. Each mode has its own uh, set of filters associated with it. So we'll go back to CW. Um, this filter here is a 400 hertz filter. And to adjust the bandwidth of a filter, we'll reset this one to 13 hertz. So presently it's set to 400 hertz. We'll type it in the label, which is 13 hertz. We'll type in the desired mm -hmm. bandwidth. And now we see a 13 hertz uh, filter. Um, tonight I'm using as a uh, oscillator my only crystal oscillator, which has uh, the best spectral purity and gives us uh, a good uh, a good reading. As you can see with this narrow of a filter uh, my MDS is down at around minus 148 minus 150 dBm. The Flex 5000 uh, reads out in dBm as well as an S meter and uh, because of the the fact that the S meter is basically an equation um, the dBm are linear which means there's no compression an S unit is actually 6 dB, and 2 S units are 12 dB, um, 9 S units are 54 dB, so, so you can actually read out in dBm. Um, the receiver uh, can read, into, read up to uh, several uh, dB positive, so you have a wide uh, dynamic range that you're able to, uh, to analyze with the Flex 5000. So we'll turn on the uh, Turn on the oscillator. It's a crystal oscillator. It has, like I said, it has uh, my best spectral purity, which is why I chose this oscillator as my demonstration for this evening. It uh, basically puts out minus 75 dBm, which is right about S9. S9 is uh, minus 73 dBm. As you can see, uh, the S meter is just slightly below the S9 mark which is consistent with a well-calibrated cal uh, S-meter. Um, presently, the center frequency of my crystal oscillator is 7.040250 hertz. So we'll go ahead and uh, raise the frequency up uh, 150 hertz, which takes us up to uh, 7040400. And I'll open up the bandwidth of the filter to 400 hertz, and as you can see, I'm right at S9 minus 73 dBm at this level. We'll go ahead and um, cut the, uh, now remember, 400 hertz is, is narrower than the average transceiver's bandwidth. The average transceiver comes with something like a 500 hertz filter. We're already narrower than that. So we'll go from 400 hertz down to 200 hertz. And as, as you can see, um, I have virtually eliminated the signal. My signal went from, uh, from S9 to well below S1, where it was minus 137 dBm, one, minus 139 dBm. So, so that's the difference. And recall that we're only 150 hertz off the center frequency of the oscillator. We'll move the oscillator down. so that we're back in the S9 range. So now we're 70 hertz above the center frequency. We're at 200 hertz bandwidth. We'll drop to 100 hertz. As you can see, uh, we're only 70 hertz off the uh, center frequency. This means that an S9 signal that's 70 hertz away from my receive frequency is already down 
from minus 70, 73 down to minus 112 dBm. Using a 100 hertz filter, if I go to a 50 hertz filter, I'm down at minus 145 dBm. So essentially an S9 signal only 70 hertz away from uh, my receive frequency um, is down um, to minus 145 which is uh, essentially uh, MDS on this radio. If I go to 25 hertz it goes down a few more dB, 13 hertz it goes uh, down a little bit more. Okay so we'll go back to 100 and we'll recenter the frequency back to S9 So we're now at uh, 270, 280. Right now we're 30 hertz off of the center frequency. And we're at 100 hertz bandwidth. Now we're at 50 hertz bandwidth. So we go from minus 74 to minus 89. 25 hertz bandwidth takes us down to minus 104. 13 hertz bandwidth takes us down to minus 112. So this is this is how loud an S9 signal is, only 30 hertz away from my receive my receiver. And as you can hear, the the receiver does not um, have ringing even at this extremely narrow filter bandwidth. So let me center here. There we are, essentially centered. We are at an S9 signal and um, at 13 hertz bandwidth. And as you can hear, there's no ringing. As you can hear, the filters uh, in this radio are absolutely astounding. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the, present tilt, uh, the presentation regarding the filters and the uh, Flux 5000 Radio, very 73 from W90Y.